Good morning, Promise Land Preschool pre-kindergarten students. This is Miss Jill, and I'm here again this week to read you another story about going into kindergarten. We have many pre-K students that are getting ready to graduate and are going to be going to kindergarten. So I thought this would be a really fun book for all of us to read together. It is called Countdown to Kindergarten. The author of the book is Allison McGee, and the pictures are by Harry Bliss. Remember, the author writes the story, right? All the words. Here's our title page. Remember, our, our title page always will have the title of the book and who wrote the book and who drew all the pretty pictures was the illustrator. So let's get started. I am in big trouble. I'm going to kindergarten in 10 days. I've heard from a first grader that they have a lot of rules there. Rule number three. You're not allowed to bring any stuffed animals. Rule number two, you're not allowed to bring your cat. Rule number one, you have to know how to tie your shoes by yourself. You're not allowed to ask for help ever. Want to know what I can do? Count backwards from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Want to know what I can't do? Tie my shoes. Nine days before kindergarten. This isn't getting any easier. Later, I know I'll hide my shoes. Mom finds everything. Look here, the missing shoes and that needle I've been searching for. So she's trying to hide her shoes because she, she can't look know how to tie her shoes yet. Eight days before kindergarten. Yuck! Even the puddle is out to get me. I know. I'll pull the laces out. Imagine what could happen if I left them in. Someone saying, it's all our fault, doctor. We made her wear those awful shoelaces. We should have listened to her. I know, I'll throw them out. Your mother found these shoelaces in the trash. Don't they belong to your shoes? I guess. Seven days before kindergarten, Dad says a lot of five-year-olds don't know how to tie. I guess he hasn't heard kindergarten rule number one. You can't ask us for help ever. Dad practices with me. Bunny ears, bunny ears, cross through. Look at his knot just the way he showed me. Six days before kindergarten, what should I try now? Poor Pootie, you look so hungry. Pootie, here's your lunch. Later that day, repeat after me, bowls are for cats, 
food, shoes are for your feet. Look what she did. Five days before kindergarten, mom says a lot of five-year-olds don't know how to tie. I guess she doesn't know about rule number one either. Once again, you can't ask us for help. Ever. Never. I wonder if you can show up at kindergarten wearing your baby shoes. I'm sorry, baby shoe wearers have to take rest time in the sub-basement. Good luck. Okay, back to my bedroom for more practice. Loop, pull, around, poke, and pull. Meow. Oh my. Psst. Four days before kindergarten. How will I ever do it? What bows? Poor Mr. Ducky is so sad, he still doesn't know how to tie either. Maybe a ride in the canoe will cheer him up. Careful, Mr. Ducky, don't you know you should never stand up in a canoe? Repeat after me, shoes are not canoes. Oh, look what she did with her shoes. Three days before kindergarten, loop, pull around, poke and pull. Dad is so nice. He even bought me new laces that should help. Snack time for Pudi. Later that day, I know, I know, repeat after me, shoelaces are not food. Look what she did with her shoelaces. Two days before kindergarten, my parents are taking me out for my favorite dinner, spaghetti, to celebrate the start of school. I don't see anything to celebrate. How's your bowl of shoelaces? I mean spaghetti. Dad says, don't worry, sweetie. It just takes time. But kindergarten starts in two days. What if I have to wear a sign that says, Velcro girl? One day before kindergarten. What if they don't let me have playground time and no one gets to see me jump rope counting backwards from 10? What if they don't let me have snack time or I miss the last bell and get locked in school all night without you, Pudi? And I miss my dinner and my dessert and my bedtime story and my goodnight kiss. I'm doomed. Meow. You'll be all right. First day of kindergarten. Look at all those feet, all those bows. Later that morning, really? Your dad tied your shoes for you? Me too. You guys can't tie your shoes either. You only know three kindergartners who can tie their shoes? Three, two, one, that's all? I thought I was the only one. I guess I'm not in such big trouble after all. Monday, shoe time, teacher can help. Tuesday, stuffed animal day. Wednesday, counting backwards from 10.
she was so scared about the first day of school, but then she realized there was nothing to be scared about. Not everybody knows how to tie their shoes the first day of school, and you can always ask for help from the teachers. So don't worry about it, and just get excited about getting to start kindergarten. So nice to get to read you this story, and I'll be reading you another one next week. Give your mom and dad big ol' hugs. Miss Jill's giving you a big air hug. See you later.